What is going on guys? Clutch Quad 4 and 5 here bringing you guys a video. Um, first sort of like just online video from GTA. Not like any funny moments or anything. This is just going to be a mission from Gerald called Gassed Up. I'm going to be doing it on normal. Single player. Hopefully be able to beat it. Um, I heard that missions in GTA are really hard to do single player. A lot of the Gerald missions too, since he does a lot of stuff with like drug dealers and stealing cocaine, almost every single time. So, I have a feeling this is far away. That was not a, a lot of error or anything. Don't need to overreact or anything, that was, a, that was pretty fun. Alright, no clue why they spawned me all the way out here, when usually all his stuff is inside the city. Unless this is not, like, inside the city or anything. And this allergy is not meant for off-road, if you guys haven't noticed yet. <laughs> Ed, it's holding up, it's holding up. I probably should have stayed on the road. But you know. Take a shortcut, I guess. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, um, basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get uh, a lot of money. Because I really want to buy... Um, a sick car that can customize. I mean, a lot of people say that the LRG is actually, like, it's the best, like, f uh, not free car, but car you can just, like, possibly, like, take off the street or something. Car that you basically you don't have to buy. But I'm looking into buying a car, probably, like, the Corvette and, like, the Corvette in this game. I forgot what it's called. I think it's, like, the Cockhead or something with a Q. It's pretty sick, and it's not too expensive either. I think I have, have like, I went from, like, 100 and, like, 10 grand down to like really nothing because I like bought this SUV or I didn't buy this SUV. I upgraded this SUV, like bulletproof tires and like a new engine and everything just because like my friends and I thought it was cool that you could ride on the side and I sold that and I got like nothing back so I'm kind of broke right now. Also died a lot. I think I'm at like 60 grand. I don't even know if I'm at 60 grand. Let me check. Ooh, cop stop car. Uh, yeah, I'm at 61 grand. And I also upgrade this allergy a lot, which I'm not too mad about because the allergy is a pretty sick car. So I'm okay with that, upgrading the allergy. It's got a pretty beastly engine in it. I don't really... That's the Comet, right? Or something like that. I, don't, I was looking into that car. But, I mean... And then, with Rockstar, supposedly... Not sure, not sure if this is going to happen. I mean, it should have by now. Or maybe it'll come out this weekend. Giving everyone $500,000. Because they feel bad about all the bugs and stuff that are in their game. So, hopefully, with that money, I can buy the $253,000 uh, apartment with the same exact interior as the 400,000 and a 10 car garage which is in a different view because when you think about it I'm not going to really be worrying about the view too much I'm just going to be worrying about the 10 car garage and the heist room for future heists on GTA which I'm very excited about so when Rockstar gives us that um, I'm really looking forward to getting the $253,000 house and then I'll have another 250 left over that I can buy like a $250,000 car and that's why I'm trying to get a hundred thousand, a hundred like thirty thousand right now before they give us the money so I can at least have like a third sick car so I'll have like this one, the LRG, the Corvette for like 130k I think it is on the menu or whatever the manual, Corvette for like 130k and then I'll have the $250 house, 10 car garage and $250,000 left, $250, left over, which I could probably buy a sick car. Not like a, an Adder or whatever, the Bent, not the, Bent, the Bugatti, but I might be able to buy the Vaca, which in my opinion is like one of the best cars. It's sick. Um, so anyways, a lot of people said they're not even going to buy an apartment. They're just going to like buy a $500,000 car, but I mean, the apartment is sort of important for heists, but let me tell you this, guys. What we were thinking about doing is maybe having Marco, or I think Marco, probably since he has the most money, money here, he has almost $200,000, having him spend $200,000 and buying a, high, a, a house that you can plan heists in. We plan a bunch of heists, and no one else buys like a house with the, 200, with the 500k, so then we'll basically just make money off of his heist room, and then when we all have enough, we'll all buy another house, but I mean, just in the meantime... I'm just going to try to make 100k so I can get a sick car. And where do I have to go? I'm really not too sure how to get down there. I only have one life, which kind of sucks. 
probably this way. I really don't like doing these missions on single player because I end up getting like pissed off. And I end up not getting like, not finishing a lot of the time because it's hard as balls. But this one, oh, I could snipe him from all up here. Perfect. Why don't I have my grenades with me? That's my question. Oh shit, they're heated. Of course the poke has been dropped. Oh, why am I using this one? Here we go. Don't die. Oh shit, they can see my head at all times, I think. Oh, wow, this mission was easier than I expected. All right, I'm going to leave one of them, then I'm going to drive down there. Let's go. So anybody who wants to play the mission, uh, what's this, Gassed Up, I think? Actually, no, I'm not going to say Gassed Up. Uh, we'll see at the end. Whoever wants to play this mission, definitely go there. Easy spot. Really easy, in my opinion. To, uh, and I think all I have to do is just steal the coke and just book it. Where's this last guy? Alright, sweet. Alright. Another thing to do, guys, I really want to stress this. When you're in here, run over all the bodies. You can get a lot of money, a lot of, uh, hopefully, no gang members come by, a lot of money and ammo by walking over the uh, gang members' bodies, but I think some of them despawned. Don't know why, maybe it's because I went around. But anyways, we got the cokes, now we just gotta bring it back to Gerald's apartment. And thankfully they gave us some directions. And my car looks shitty. Hey, good driving skills. All right, and another cool thing about ordering cars from like online is that like they'll let you buy like uh shit yeah there's enemies shit guys uh i'm gonna die i'm so dead yep i'm dead i knew it was way easier than it seemed and i got sidetracked shit where are they Is that them? I oh, guess yeah, gang members. Go, go, go. Well, at least I had a life. I really don't want to die. Oh, another good thing is I got, I got bulletproof tires. I don't know if I said that. That's like the first thing I did when I got to level 20. Because I couldn't take just my friends, like, shooting my tires off. And, uh, like, trying to get away. Okay, this car is terrible handing. I'm just trashing this car up. Um, yeah, bulletproof tire is really important, especially like in missions like these, where you're trying to get away and get somewhere quickly, and they shoot out your tires, and you just can't even turn. You can't even. You just spin out. So bulletproof tires. I mean, they're worth the twenty-five thousand that you have to pay for it. I know it's a lot, but they're worth it. So actually, this mission wasn't that bad single player. Uh, thankfully, we had another life. I like that about. Mo I think almost every mission, unless it's like a search and destroy mission or something like that gives you an extra life. That would have been great if I would have died there. But I think, yeah, we're done here. Just got to deliver this to Gerald and we'll see. Hopefully we get a lot of money because I hate when you do something like a mission like this and they don't give you a lot. But usually Gerald's pretty good. It's probably going to be like two grand. Nice. But definitely play this mission with friends. It's so much easier. If you, if you can do it this easily on single player with friends, it's going to be a lot easier. Especially if a friend is a high level and he has this mission. I have a feeling we're not going to get a lot. That's just my... 2,000. That's what I hate. I mean, like, missions, th these ones are hard, but I guess since I'm not that high of a level, I can't get, like, 10k for them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that gassed up mission. Um, that spot right there is pretty helpful up on the overpass uh, for taking out all of the enemies. And another thing that you can do is drop a subscription if you guys did enjoy this GTA gassed up mission uh, sort of tutorial from Gerald 
Um, drop a like if you did like the video too, and even drop a comment. It really helps us out. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys used this a uh, little helpful tip during this mission to uh, make some money with your friends in GTA. And I hope you look forward to uh, one of our later videos. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.